Hey y'all, it's Christina here with Indigo River. Today, I wanna show y'all a house that we have up on consignment. It's for sale. We did not build it, but it was built by a great builder in Oregon. True form, tiny homes. So this is the Kootenay, I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> That's the name of the model. So I'm gonna walk around the outside of the house so you can see it's in great shape. This is a 2019 build, but she only lived in it for about 12 weeks. So um, it's like new. The composting toilet hasn't been used. The washing machine hasn't been used. So I just want to show you all the outside. Here's the, they do a nice job kind of making a unobtrusive spot for the mini split. The outside unit. So this is a bump out. It's, got, it's a 24 footer and it's got a two foot bump out here and then another two foot bump out on the other side that you already saw. We'll, I'll show you the inside of it now. So this is a one bedroom, um, but there's room in the living area for guests to sleep, so it could sleep up to four. So I'll give you a nice view of the kitchen before we step all the way in. So this home is a custom build. The homeowner is a designer and she helped to design some of these uh, cabinets are a lot different than True Forms standard kitchen. It's got a little peninsula plus a fold out bar, pop up bar, that's what we call it. And then room for guests and there's the bump out there so I'm gonna start in the bathroom and then we'll go on down before we get to the bathroom you can see the washing machine that's where the hot water heater is nice hooks and plenty of room for more hooks in the entryway and then this is your bathroom you got your vent vent fan this is the bump out here for the sink. So tons of storage. Got a little storage bin down there. It's kind of dark. Two big drawers. And then these are casement windows that you can crank open for some ventilation. So more storage above the toilet. Pretty uh, live edge. Try to get that live edge shelf. This is a little heater beside the toilet. And then this is our composting toilet. It's a separate, brand new. And here's the shower. Looks to be about a three by three shower. So I will put a link to the homes listing. Right now she's asking 149. 149,000 um, if and the homes listing will have a list of all the features so if there's something I forget to say so plenty of storage in the kitchen cabinet up here nice pretty vent hood she's got a two burner cooktop and then some open shelving that's pretty. We got a live edge on that bottom shelf. A great sink. This is a lot like the sinks we do with the inserts. There's a cutting board insert that you can put in there too. So another casement window you can crank open above the sink. And a nice little peninsula here. Oh, and I forgot to show you. So here's more this is from the storage staircase. This is a the hanging closet. We've got the screens from 
moving the house. We didn't want those to blow away. And then these are, um, this was a special order, these pantry. She's got two, but you don't have to pull out the whole thing. You can just pull out half at a time. So I think that's everything in the kitchen. A little bit of storage above the fridge and below. We'll move on into the dining area. So again, this pops up and down. And then the, there's some storage under there. It's actually open the, a fuse boxes down there and then there's some more storage above. Another casement window. And this cute little wood burning stove that takes those little bitty kindling stick so if the power goes out you can still stay warm so here's that bump out that window even opens up there so you can get a nice breeze this home was built in Oregon I don't know if I said that true form is in Oregon um, if you built this house today with all of the custom features it'd be about 170,000 and so you can get a like new, barely lived in, tiny home from True Form Tiny Homes. That's a drawer down there in that bottom. And then I think this one is a lift up. Oh yeah, it just comes off like that. So we'll go, this, this desk is built in. So you can have a little chair there or, or um, a little beanbag seat would be good. You could use it for an ottoman and then also as a chair for your desk. So I'm just going to give you a view of the stairs. The storage staircase is regular tread, so it's easy to walk up. And then there's a little platform here that you can stand up. Um, and then there's plenty of room for little uh, bedside tables, nightstands on either side. This is a queen size bed. Two skylights, so you just get some room darkening shades if you need that. I, I wouldn't need that. My husband would. He likes it dark. So here's a built-in. Um, this was another custom request from the homeowner. So tons of drawer space up here, some cubbies, um, and then the hanging clothes go downstairs. So that's the bedroom. With tons of windows, plus the skylights. And the skylights um, are operable, so you can climb out on the roof. All right. So I think I said everything about this house. Anything that I forgot will be listed in the listing linked below. Tons of space, plenty of space for a single person. And then you can have some guests. Spent sleepover on the, this is a pullout couch. This sofa comes with the house. So that's the Kootenay. There's a pocket door there I didn't show. Oh, that has mirrors on it. Let me show that too. Let's see here. All right. So you can keep that closed and makes the space seem feel bigger. So one more view of the whole place. Thanks for watching, y'all. Um, click that link and let us know if you're interested in this house. We're going to be doing another open house August 10th. No, sorry, August 20th. It was July 10th was our last one. So August 20th for our next open house if you want to come have a look and make an offer. All right, thanks for watching. We love you guys.